Let me ask you a question though. So like, I believe that the first time we heard Gucci say anything about this, and it was like the only time we heard him say anything about it for a long ass time was when he puts out the truth. And he's kind of getting at it by saying, you know, go go dig your homeboy up. I bet he won't say shit and all this. From there, like, it basically became this narrative in rap that everybody assumed that Gucci was the shooter, right? And he never really, like, spoke on it too specifically. He never, I don't believe he ever said that he would was, you, but he didn't deny it either. Would, would, would you? If I was him, I think he played it masterfully. He didn't say he did it, but he allowed everybody to believe he did it. Because somebody really passed about it, you know what I mean? And I'm going to be real, if your boy did it, you might as well have did it, right? Fast. If that's your like real right hand man and he did it, I mean everybody's look, gonna basically shit, a, act like you did it anyway, shit, right? Look a goddamn look a Quando. Uh, you know, rest in peace to Vaughn, but it's like, you know, he had his homie with him who did it, and everybody basically acts like he did it. That shit, yeah. You gotta like and then how the how the world right now with all this Rico and all this crazy shit going on, you gotta be careful a little bit. Mm. But it's a blessing to be up. <laughs> yeah. And I'm talking about alive. Right, yeah. <laughs> like for real, for real. Reflex is a motherfucker. Uh, I was I got taught by the best him. Mm. You know what I mean? But so what's it like for you to sort of see this narrative unfolding where Gucci kind of becomes like the boogeyman of rap because everybody sort of believes this and then meanwhile you are like one of the only people who knows right, what really so, happened, right? So like, for instance, you know how you you seen the interview with um I ain't wanna bring nothing up like that because um She's, you know what I mean? You seen the, the video with the, the lady, um, what's her name? Etni? Um, Deb, yeah. You see how she 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 said uh, uh, Juice was the real trapper? Right. Juice, that was true. That was 100% true, you know what I mean? But Gucci was a taker. That was true, too. Okay. So, you know what I mean? But, but some people think... Some people might think that it was all about bricks and pounds, or uh, making them, or selling them. Nah, it was all about taking them and just looking at them in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, that's some cold shit. Like that for real. Like you know what I mean? That's what it was on. Because you could be a peaceful drug dealer theoretically, right? Yeah, like, but you could but, you could be a drug dealer for twenty years and never have to shoot anybody. But if you're really taking shit, that's like a different type of heart that you have to have, right? Okay, you, what if you had a friend that you just played ball with? But you've been playing ball with your friend for like 10 years. And your friend come to you one day like, yo, I got a nigga with 200,000. It's my cousin, baby mama, though. <laughs> um, he was the guy to go see? I, I, I want to I, I wanna do clean business, though. You know me, but of all, you my boy. He thinking you my boy because we just play ball together. Right. But the back of your hand, you like, you like, goddamn. He like, camera on him, pay the fool. You got 15 bricks in that bag right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was kind of like the recipe. Mm. And and he was getting initiated, like knowing he was getting known for everybody was doing it, but his was different. Cause he was doing this to motherfuckers you knew not to do it too. Mm. You know what I mean? Cause you know, and, and it it's you, like Gucci was trying to tell us for and, all these years and, in a song. And though, give, that's, 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 he's nuts. told us a lot of times. And it's giving you nuts. <laughs> and it, it gives you nuts when you got when you got like all your people in here you got right now. Mm. All of them got pistols in here, and you say, oh shit, that's a roach. Shoot at that motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody in that motherfucker going go pop, pop, pop. Like, that kind of power, bro. That kind of power, you have no choice but to be where you at now. Mm. You know what I mean? But you got to, like, when you got some of, you know what I mean? In the war, though, you got captains, lieutenants, sergeants, wardens. Like, you know what I mean? You got head, it's positions. Mm. Like, and when you done made it this far, like, and you got somebody, and you have somebody around that already been playing that position, and still here, the, the just like you, why not? Mm. You know what I mean? But okay, let's let's fast forward from that time period all the way up to the versus battle because <laughs> I had never heard the name Pookie Loke until that fucking v battle or around that time at least, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden he basically like breaks the internet by just you know sort of clowning him. Uh, to Jeezy's face, and everybody just and, could not believe it. Do you think he, does Jeezy deserved that? I mean, you could say that if he sent somebody to kill him, then yeah, uh, yeah, you, you yeah I mean? guess you could say he deserved it. It certainly yeah. like falls within the category of shit that we see happening in rap all the time. The only thing that was different about it is that it was like 15 years later, and you kind of thought that Gucci was past that. 
saying that kind of thing. But if you was if you was Gucci, and I'm telling you my position I was and what I speak was the truth, and you see me now, like, what would you do? In terms of how I would like treat you, if, if I'm t- if it, what I speak in my words, if I whatever I sp- like, if this is one hundred percent thousand true, what I'm saying, mm. and you was Gucci, and I'm in the position I'm in, like right now, um, I'm fr- I'm just got finished inking the deal with Money Man, with Black Circle right now. You know, what you're I mean? signing the Money Man, not not signing. We going we doing half um we going half on like management and like okay, doing some shit with his manager and his shit. So. Trying to really just flap my wings, and I feel like I've been working. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500k. Yeah.